Hello everyone, my name is Corey. Welcome back to Gary and I's Vinyl Collection. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about Sufjan Stevens' Carrie and Lowell. The sound was released March 31st, 2015, and um, it was kind of considered a Back to Roots album for Sufjan Stevens. His last album was entitled The Age of Ads. Uh, let's see. That, can, that album had a little bit more electronic-y influence. This one's more straightforward folk kind of music, you know, just an acoustic guitar and a guy singing about, you know, whatever he wants. As for the album cover, I'm sure you can see, you know, it kind of stands out. It's got some big bold letters and a picture of two people, and it's like, who might that be? Well, this is Carrie and Lowell, who were a pretty important part of Sufjan Stevens' childhood. Carrie is actually his mother, and uh, around the age of one or so, she kind of, she basically left out on you know his family and kind of left him alone. Uh, basically, his mother dealt with a lot of substance abuse issues and schizophrenia and things like that. It wasn't really a great environment for you know a child to grow up in, and Basically, the reason this album came about, Sufjan was uh, coping with the fact that she just passed away, and he wrote these albums, you know, uh, talking about his trips to Oregon with his family from his childhood and things that uh, he felt during those times. For me, this album, you know, I, I can't exactly relate to it or the situations, but the way the songs are written, they're extremely relatable and they're on right. As personal as they may be to Sufjan, you can still find a way to relate to this album and it'll cut you deep just hearing the extremely personal stories from his point of view and, you know, this album is extremely deep and fantastic. Some of my favorite songs off this album, I'd say Death With Dignity, Drawn To The Blood, uh, the Only Thing, and No Shade in the Shadow of the Cross. Very, very good songs. Uh, here's like an idea of the album sleeve for you. And I got this album the day it came out because I heard it on NPR and I was like, wow, this is great. And uh, I got the clearer version. Personally, I highly recommend this album if you like any kind of folk music. Anything, you know, a little bit more deep on the weird side. Because it'll get you pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty sad. And it's highly relatable in its own way. So, if that's your cup of tea, I highly recommend Sufjan Stevens' Carrie Lowell.